And so communities of practice are useful for a teacher becoming a reflective practitioner. Um, community of communities of practice support um, the individual professional's ability to generate knowledge and to manage acquired knowledge from experience. And communities of practice and, and knowledge management, therefore, are essentially about solving known problems with known solutions. Um, a new teacher can present a problem to the community which has already been experienced by um, somebody else and um, therefore the solution to that problem is very readily available. It's therefore essentially about um, sharing, about transferring um, know-how, uh, uh, what we already know about the problems and how to solve them. It's also very much about um, applying principles of good practice to what we do in key areas of learning. Um, the community of practice is a place um, where um, good uh, practice um, has been stored and therefore can be transferred to others, shared around um, the community um, and therefore good practice um, by all members of the community is an everyday occurrence. And it's very much um, a process of um, building trust and building relationships with colleagues in order for this knowledge sharing and knowledge transfer to occur. It's therefore a process also of making knowledge acquisition much easier um, and uh, this is because um, it's easier for the reflective practitioner, for a teacher, to find somebody else with knowledge, with answers to problems which they're experiencing. And therefore, it's a very easy way to um, access uh, that knowledge, to, um, to, to uh, key into the organizational group intellect that's available. Um, and that is a very powerful tool for the reflective practitioner to use. There, there are different types of communities of practice and, and these are based around the strategic intentions of the community of practice. Um, one aspect here is that the community of practice is a helping community, helping in terms of it's a forum for helping an individual or individuals solve problems and um, work with um, solutions that manage the day-to-day -day, um, classroom experience. And it's also very much about making sure that um, good practice becomes best practice. Where we have a community of practice uh, in a school or an uh, some other educational environment, it is an opportunity to develop and disseminate, to share around the best approaches, the best strategies um, that are already known by others um, with those particular students with whom we're working. And therefore we can say that this becomes best practice in that context rather than just good practice. Uh, another aspect of a community of practice is about um, being a custodian of knowledge, knowledge stewardship. Um, in a community of practice, knowledge is organized and managed by the group and um, held uh, carefully like a repository um, where knowledge can be drawn upon um, by individual members at any particular point. And therefore, the community of practice becomes um, a key uh, 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 point of uh, knowledge input for the reflective practitioner. Another aspect of community of practice is innovation. Um, it's a way to explore with other professionals um, new ideas, breakthrough ideas, new innovations to create and generate new practices which um, can actually become highly successful um, in terms of managing student learning. The critical factors for success of a community of practice then is that um, it does actually reduce the number of hours that any individual needs to give to solving problems or issues 
um, that they're experiencing because answers may already be within the community. Therefore, it decreases the extent of the learning curve. Learning for a reflective practitioner it happens much more quickly, much more rapidly because of the knowledge which is being shared. And therefore, it cuts the amount of experimentation which is needed by the reflective practitioner. There is no need for reworking and reinventing when somebody has already done that. It's also about uh, increasing the amount of innovation that can take place um, because the innovation is supported by the community. And because the community is there to provide support, it means that the amount of mistakes, the errors that can occur, will greatly be reduced because people will anticipate them and have solutions for them. And because the community is there to support reflective practice, it means that any changes happen very, very quickly rather than taking um, an, an, an amount of time because of the reflective process.